Hi guys, so I've got something to show you today. Well, I'll sort of show you and admit to something. Do you remember how I was making a robot? I talked about it in a live stream a little while back and I think I showed you something. I'm not sure. I did, definitely. There were some unboxing things. Anyway, so I got some wheels, um, motors and wheels. These are stepper motors. These are like the really uh, sort of cheap ones, the 28 BYJ48 ones. I also got uh, myself some ultrasonic distance stuff. I got a little joystick so I could remote control it if I needed to. I picked up some little servos so that I could uh, attach the ultrasonic to it and stuff. And even got one of these, which is a little ball wheel. So you'd have two steering wheels and one uh, which would just move with whatever motion it was carrying. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm giving up on that. <laughs> And I'll give you a demonstration as to why. So I made this a while back. This was meant to be a self-balancing robot. However, it turned out to be quite rubbish. Um, there was just the, the body of it wasn't strong enough. This isn't my forte, this kind of wood and construction thing. So not my forte at all. So I decided to buy a platform instead. Uh, and I got it from Fortronics. This is it, just there. Um, it's a two to four wheel drive platform. Uh, so hopefully it will work out really well. So this is it. I've already torn the label off, obviously. Um, so we're just gonna cut into it and we'll see what we find. Now the Fortronics platform looked like the best for me because it was potentially four wheel drive, but also because it has a charging circuit for the batteries which will power the motors on board, which is pretty ace. Um, but we'll, I don't know the details of that circuit, so we'll find out, oh God. I hate these things, these are gonna get everywhere, aren't they? Um, and this is my computer desk as well, so this is brilliant. There we go, the Fortronics Initio. I guess that would should really tell me that it's um, an in initiation robot or something. So here we go. It says four-wheel drive robot platform designed for Raspberry Pi and Arduino. Not e I'm not really sure it is designed for those things. The only thing that really could be designed designed in that case would be like the mounting posts and things. So um, mounting for L298N dual H bridge module. I wonder if it comes with that. Mounting for pan and tilt mechanism, class 170 DC motors, literally no idea what that means. Wheel rotation sensors, six cell battery pack, indicator LED, blah, 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 let's just get out. I don't want this video to go on too long, really. So it comes nicely packaged, obviously, with all this junk in here. It's a little booklet. Oh, look at him, he looks so cool. Right, version two. Uh, so let's get this stuff out. So it comes in a nice box. Got some graphics there, fully loaded, basic kit. I think I've gone for the basic kit. It was 36 pounds, I believe. Look at all these things all over the place, jeez. When I come to do some work later on, that's really going to annoy me that these things are all over the place. There we go. So this is, looks a little bit like Lego. This is the, in fact, we can use the little image on the top there. This will be the top plate and the rest is the bottom half of the platform. So we've got four wheels there. They're very heavy, actually. That's quite good. I assume they're going to be quite heavy duty. They're a little bit squishy. So it means they're going to have a little bit of grip, I would imagine. We've got some bits and pieces there. I don't know. I think we're going to have to look at some instructions. But one of them looks like a pan and tilt holder for the... It looks like that section there. I mean, it's not a full pan and tilt bracket in there, hopefully. Otherwise, they've sent the wrong thing. And then we have... Uh, the robotics part, the robotics part, the motor part, I guess. So here's our battery box. This is the on off switch here and it's also got charging. There's a massive resistor in there and I assume um, 
they're using that for trickle charging. Uh, so they're just going to plug a DC uh, jack in there and it will trickle charge those batteries. And I don't know what that resistor value is, but I'll find out for the next video. Uh, I assume it will just trickle charge the uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in there. And we've got two motors at the bottom here. Now it did say it's two wheel, four wheel drive. So I assume you can just flick a switch and make it four wheel drive potentially. I don't know. Or maybe you can attach another motor over here. I'm not sure. Um, we've also got speed encoders just here. So they're already got their electronics in there, which when, you know, when you see uh, robotic cars at the moment, you don't actually get the electronics for the speed encoders usually. So that's very good. So I'm going to get that together at some point, but not just yet. It's probably going to have to wait till the weekend. Um, but I just wanted to share it with you because it had just come through the post today. So I'm very excited. Anyway, I'll speak to you later.